Think we'll be able to just leave? Everyone, no. Oh god! The headman's here! Shit, that means we need to start the episode! Everyone, welcome back to On The Shelf Gaming, the only show on the internet where we can't just fucking go anywhere <laughs> without someone stopping us cold! We were right there! Talk to us two feet ago! Why'd you let us leave? Every time we try to go anywhere. There's always, oh, gotta go check out, go talk to Kaede. Oh, gotta go make sure Sashi made it home okay. Oh, gotta go talk to the headman, even though we were just talking to the headman. <laughs> but it's fine, I love this game, it's great. Yeah, no, I'm having no a lot flaws. of fun. I'm having a lot of fun in spite of the fact that it is what it is. <laughs> What? Who is this character we've never seen before in our lives? It's not much, but please take this. Oh, that's why I had to go get us a, a gift. He couldn't just say, he to, "Hey, I want to go get you an apology gift and a thanks gift." No, he just he was just like, "Yeah, one second. And he had to go run and get his wallet. Wow, there's quite a bit here. We can buy lots of sweets now. Calm down, Chippo. God, I. We just finished a mission, so that does mean, theoretically, we should have another off day, right? Yeah, I think so. It's okay. Take it. It comes from good intentions. I think you should take it. And not just because we're broke as fuck all. Thank you, Headman. Yeah, no problem. I'm like the, the equivalent of a multimillionaire, so. 3,000? Woo, that's enough to buy, like... Two One thing that we wanted. Yeah, two of those little thingies. Uh, I wonder if like, we'll get better thingies, or if like that's like the best stuff, and that's why it's so expensive. No, I'm sure there's probably going to be way better stuff. Which makes me think we should just not. Let's see what equipment we have might not blow. Shouldn't blow all of our money. Yeah, because that's what I did the first time, and I mean it. It was good, sort of. Because, like, those, I think, give plus two attack and plus two something else. Yeah, plus two so attack like, and defense, I'm pretty sure. You know, we pumped our, our guys up a little bit. Well, not Chippo, but... Yeah, yeah. let's say Chippo <laughs> doesn't need it. He's, he's a fucking god among exactly. men. Exactly. So, he does, he would probably scoff at the idea of I'm being given anything. Up. So... Man, remember when we took the secret passage to get here? Secret passage! <laughs> and it definitely <laughs> wasn't five times longer. Yay! <gasps> it's our people! Guys, it's gonna be really awkward. So, who do you wanna to spend today? Songo, I wanna go hang out with Songo. Songo, hi, my name is uh, Sick News, I wanna hang out with you, Songo, hi. Yeah, we we I, uh, we barely know each other. I, I met you like five minutes ago. Yeah, and I wanna spend the day with you. All day. Sun sunrise to sunset. Maybe afterwards if you're into that. <laughs> Do you want to touch my butt? No. Well, I guess you're better than some people. <laughs> we just got back. Damn girl. Look at that PNG. <laughs> that sure took you a while. It did. We took a like long time. Six hours of the game already. <laughs> we went through a lot too. Hey, who's yeah. Man. We met some girl who fell through a hole in space time, and, you know, we got her back, because we're fucking goats yeah, like that. Yeah, that's super easy, honestly. The hole's just still there, exactly where she <laughs> fell in, so. Like, God. oh, really? I mean, can I, can I go back out? No, it, like, closed, like, like, 20 minutes after. I see. Hello. What's up? Are these your friends, Kagome? You're pretty. Yes, this is Moroku. And Moroku's just like, hey, thanks. <laughs> I wasn't talking to you, guy who looks like me. <laughs> That's everybody. <laughs> it's weird how Sango is so hot despite looking just like every other character in the show. <laughs> she's she's hot by virtue if she has eyeshadow and also different bangs. That's true. I see. Uh, nice to meet you. Which really speaks to the lengths of like how hot Sango is, considering that is all that's different. <laughs> she gets different bangs and she wears eyeshadow. Man. <laughs> he is not very strong either. Shikigami, you say? Oh, Impressive. Bad. Can you withstand my wind tunnel? Just opens it up right in our face. <laughs> oh, I see. He decidedly could not withstand my wind tunnel with his epic Shikigami powers. Unfortunate for him. Good thing now he won't be able to hit on my sort of girlfriend. <laughs> we didn't find out 
anything specific. Man, remember how he's super dead now? Yeah. Really sucks. Yeah. There are a lot of strange things happening in the castle. There are. There are strange things happening in every castle. I bet people are getting all kinds of freaky. This is just really uncomfortable for everybody involved, except for like the lords who are super into it because yeah, they're, they're all freaks. They're big fans. And Naraku, I'm sure he's got freakier stuff in his castle than anybody. <laughs> he's got like fucking jars of shit. Literally, probably. <laughs> He would. <laughs> he absolutely would. If he needed to, he would absolutely make a fucking incarnation out of his shit. Weird. <laughs> Some of the people play, it, claim it was the El Chupacabra. <laughs> the people paying their taxes don't come back? Well, guess I just won't pay this year. <laughs> a lot of strange things happening around the castle. But first, we need to take a day off, right? Right, guys? Guys? Right? Sango? <laughs> Wanna go to the hot spring, maybe? <laughs> a bunch of demons, huh? And you didn't kill them all? Yes. Well, how are we supposed to? I'm only a demon slayer, and Moroku has the strongest weapon in the show. Yeah, by miles. Here, it's best to go through Suzumi Village. Were there like a million fucking, like, Naraku demon insects? No, just the regular, like, stock stream of demons that sometimes streak across the sky. <laughs> you know, it takes two, maybe three seconds for all of them to, to get by, and then it resets over and over. I know you're both very tired. I'm sorry. You should probably take a day off, right, Sarga? <laughs> day off! Day off! Day off! Day off! Day off! Why are you such a slave driver, guys? Let me take a goddamn day off every <laughs> once in a while. Then we hang out with Song. It's like, all right, I need you to chop all this wood, uh, pick up all this fucking manure, and move it across the village. Uh, we gotta bathe Kilala. She really hates that. It's gonna really suck, but do it anyway. She scratch the shit uh, out of you. Probably set you on fire. <laughs> She's the demon cat, by the way. Hell yeah, Kaede gets it. Woo! Wing woman Kaede is always there for us. Yeah. Day off, day off, day off. I also just think that your day off scenes are fun and cute as shit. <laughs> Did you see Kagoma's cat apron? Adorable. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. The whole squad. I like how Sanko and Miroku look kind of normal. <laughs> right. And Inuyasha just looks a little weird. Kagome and Shippo. <laughs> They are from a separate project, and they were ported over <laughs> to this one. Take the day off. Yeah, that's why we came back in here. Well, we're gonna have to explain this to Inuyasha every day off. <laughs> like we did the other day. Everyone can pair up. You can't they say are. that to Miroku. Yeah, we need a little rest too. Do you think? Because I would imagine that by default, Inuyasha and Kagome probably team up. And Miroku and Sango probably team up. Right. So you think whoever we steal their their fucking boyfriend girlfriend, they just they have to hang out with Shippo. Yeah, they're stuck with Shippo. <laughs> <laughs> Miroku and Shippo, the ultimate bros that get all that screen time together constantly to hang out and pal around. Right. Man. Sounds good. Do you think they should ever like when they have their off days, like when they're just like hanging out at the village, they really should just go to the present. <laughs> Like, oh yeah, no, we have like couches, beds, pain management clinics. <laughs> well, the thing is, only Kagome and Inuyasha can go through. Well, didn't they discover like it was because of the Shikon Jewel? Like, if you have a shard with you, you can go through? Uh, sort of, but not really. Oh, well, that's whatever. Kagome can't go through with no jewel shard. If they tried, I'm sure they could get fucking Sango and Moroku and Shippo through. So, who do you want to travel with today? Sango! Sango, please, God, Sango, let's let's hang out. Let's Sango. be best friends and maybe more, Sango. Sango. He's like, oh, actually, I gotta hang out with Moroku. Maybe you should go with Shippa. <laughs> no, no Sango, Sango, come back. We're like clutching at her ankle, Sango, please. <laughs> at least the first time when we hung out with Kagome, it makes sense on a bunch of different levels. We've already been spending a little time together, and she's from the present like us. Right, we had that bridge there. Yeah, we've literally known Sango for like three <laughs> minutes max. <laughs> Let's hang out. Thank you. 
Okay, you're she's, welcome. She's into it. You, your your words say thank you. Your face says, oh, Grace. Really? <laughs> this guy? Okay, whatever. Well, I'm going to train hard. I will, too. Oh, they're, well, they're going to hang out okay. together. Well, I think I'll go shopping. Me, too. I'll make you buy me stuff. <laughs> but I don't have any money. Guess you better find some, huh, Shippo? <laughs> God, please don't put us to work. Please don't put us to work. Okay, so I'm going to put you to work. No! Are you going to rub my feet? I'm interested. <laughs> it's like, I'm so unbelievably and you don't even understand. Huh. All right, never mind. No! <laughs> what do you think? Cute, huh? What are you doing, Kagome? Kagome, she's our day off, buddy. <laughs> Oh, it's okay. She's just putting her up for our date. <laughs> I didn't realize it was you. I didn't expect things to get quite so romantic quite so quickly. I know. It's crazy. What are you saying? This is stupid. I don't think it suits me. No, it looks fucking spectacular. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> also, it's not like this is like an outrageous hairstyle. She's putting your hair up in a bun. This is what <laughs> people do in feudal Japan. <laughs> no, you're definitely wrong. Shut the fuck up, bitch. You look great. Really? You fucking beautiful, girl. Mwah. Thank you. Does it really? God. I know we're playing up just how romantic this actually is. <laughs> you don't even know what she looks like usually. You barely know her. <laughs> Maybe this is supposed to come once you've, like, hung out with everybody. Right. And you adventured with Sango for a little while and so this makes sense. They didn't expect you to as soon as she's available hang out with Sango. That's all? We got, we fucking hung out with Kagome for so long. <laughs> well yeah, because she was putting us to work. Well. <laughs> here, Sango didn't even hang out with us. We just stumbled in she hung to out her with Kagome. Kagome. Who was supposed to be with Shippo? Shippo's just sitting alone in the market with a balloon <laughs> tied to his wrist, crying. And they're like, what's wrong, little boy? I lost my Kagome. Is that like your mom? Uh, she's like, I think, like, she's like a really good friend, but she's like older, so I look up to her. And I'm also kind of the hot I'm older. Like way older, actually. I'm she's actually like 15 or something, and I'm like 50. Oh, well, that sounds really creepy. Well, no, uh, it's okay, because, like, I have the body of a seven-year-old. I got you. Uh, you want to you wanna come take a seat right over here? Oh, yeah. Is this, is this like, the Lost Child Center? And we're going to, you know, you're going to bring Kagome? It's like, yeah, yeah, Kagome's coming. And then just, like, fucking three-armed samurai walk in. <laughs> it's like, is that the one? It's like, yeah, that's the fucking creep over there. Got it. All right, boys, let's take him out. <laughs> Shing! Break it down. I say, are you telling me that neither of you can figure this out? So do you think if we'd choose chosen to gone with one of them that we'd be here doing this? We'd be at this weird door. Open. There's that, no way. What is that drawing on the door? Is it like a fucking pig? That, that's kind of what I'm getting from it. Pig snap. Let me just suck it up into my wind tunnel. I tried to claw idiot. at it. Ah, of course. Well, if it doesn't open when you push it, try pulling. Where am I gonna pull on this? There was Fuck no pull. You, Roku. I don't see anything really strange. Eat dicks and die. Then what's the use of this stupid picture? Oh hey, you found, you found my spank dungeon. Better set him straight. <laughs> Thanks, Kinzo. <laughs> so that's what it was. Of course, of A course. Little kid's drawing. Arg! Now I need to go kill every child in the village for wasting my time. Why did we need to see that? <laughs> we weren't even there. 
We didn't have a fun time with Sango. We barely engaged with her. She looked super hot. God damn. I know. I felt so ripped off. Why didn't we get to rub her feet? <laughs> <laughs> that probably uh, that probably what was going on while we were having to watch Inuyasha and Miroku. Yeah, that's fair. It looks like you all had a good rest. Uh, yeah, but we we could probably use another day or two, right, Kaede? Yeah, maybe another right? other week. You know, you know. Don't we get like a paid vacation? <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys are getting paid for this. So yeah, aren't you? Good time. Is the village not sponsoring us? You're all gonna die if this mission fails. You know, I was like, well, yeah, but you guys are just doing a pro bono. You're heroes. I was like, I'm not a hero. As we fucking jump back down the well. <laughs> Going to be a long journey, so a change of clothes will come in handy. What for when you inevitably shit your pants? Has this never come up for Kagome? It'll be best to take them. As long as it's old fashioned. Uh, I mean, he did at the very beginning of the show when they put her in the Kikyo outfit. Well, yeah, but that was like half her do a thing, wasn't it? Do what? Wasn't that to like have her like do a thing? Uh, no, it was before she knew she could go back into the future. Mm. So she had no other clothes, so they just put her in old-timey clothes. Oh, okay. Do you think it was literally one of Kikyo's outfits that's just been sitting in Kaede's closet for 50 years? Oh, yeah, you can't you can't tell me that Kaede's not the sentimental type who would just leave everything <laughs> of Kikyo's untouched. Well, and especially... Because, like, if Kagome had been some other girl in this exact same situation who had no resemblance to Kikyo... You know, she wasn't a reincarnation. She's just some girl. She would never get the Kikio outfit. Oh, yeah, for sure. <sighs> Suzumi! I don't know how I feel about... Because, like, everywhere we go, right? Right. It's like, oh, here's the path to the next place. And then there's the next place. Right. So, on the one hand, I'm kind of glad. Because uh, don't get me wrong, I'm having fun. But when we counted out and there was, like... I forget how many, 18 or something, something like of these. That. I was like, man, there's so much fucking stuff. But if every time we do a mission, it's going to take up two or three of these. Right. We might actually not have that much game left to go. I mean, there's a lot still, obviously. Yeah, sure. Most of it is still there. But, right, like, sir. we're way closer than it looked. Little old lady. There was something I wanted to give you. So I was randomly waiting here on this road, figuring that sometime you would pass by. Be able to help you make Somewhere between safe. now and death. Go on, show him. Maruku, tag it. God, when there's so many of us, really do is fucking surround <laughs> whoever we're talking to. <laughs> like we're getting ready for the fucking beat down. <laughs> like, all right, thanks for that talisman, old lady. Now what else you got? Thank you so Empty much. Empty your pockets. <laughs> oh wait, is she giving us our co-op powers? Maybe. Is our first co-op power with fucking Miroku? <laughs> Miroku? I want to call him Koga for a second for some reason. <laughs> Thank God it's not with Koga. <laughs> yeah, Koga rolls up. Hey, I heard you guys looking for a new party member. <laughs> it's like, oh, Koga. About that, actually, the the yeah, the adventure just ended. <laughs> it's like really like like just now. He looks fine. Now it. It's not there either. So I don't know. I don't know what it was supposed to be. And she looks fine too. Yeah, she looks great, as always. So what the fuck is wrong with, like, Inuyasha <laughs> and Kagome's? And Shippo. Well, Shippo, was, his face was just too big. Well, yeah. Of course I can chat. I can. I'm a monk. You can That's what my class does. Too? Of course I can. Otherwise I wouldn't be a monk. Wow, you're amazing. I mean, you're like the you're shiny example of what a monk should be. In every way, shape, and form. Yes, of course I am, as he fucking reaches over and starts patting Kagome's ass. God, I wonder, if we played as Girl Seknutsu, would he, would would he have grabbed us? our ass already? Because <laughs> I would hope that the answer is no, but I'm certain that it's yes. <laughs> Sango's Sango? not convinced. Maybe Sango doesn't like me. Damn. We'll fix that. <laughs> Don't worry, baby. I can change. 
I'll change literally anything for you. Look what I found. You shouldn't just change yourself for a woman. You're right, I shouldn't. <laughs> I mean, look at Moroku. Do you think he would change for me? No, he'd be exactly the same, and I would just <laughs> learn to put up with it for some reason. Hell yeah, fuck that mist, get wrecked! Fuck it, yeah! Oh, fuck. God damn it, not this mist! <laughs> that mist heard us talking shit. <laughs> It jumped directly in front of me. I could not have avoided that accident. This was not my fault. <laughs> God damn, there's a lot of us now. We don't even fit on screen. God, I, I hope that the number of enemies continues to stay four. Right, just so we keep outnumbering them. Let's see. Attack one enemy with a sharp hidden uh. weapon. Is there a special where she throws and hits everybody? No. Oh, she gets Kilala involved. But she doesn't have any things. None of us have any things! Get the badger! Here goes. Here I Slay that demon! Hell yeah! Gonna do a hundred damage. Ah, oh, I thought it was gonna hit a second time. I was gonna say, that shouldn't like, just be a two Hell hitter. yeah, it did do over a hundred damage. Oh, but he's strong, apparently. Let's see, what have you got? He's got to have the wind tunnel for a special, right? Okay, so he can also heal. Oh, and we can see the HP of enemies. That could be useful. Probably not. It, oh, oh, it yeah, only he heals one person. And it's probably like a status thing, though, or there's a chance he'll fail. Probably. Let's just look, just a curiosity. Good. Yes. I, what... <laughs> If we I, hover over them now, will we know? I don't know. Yes. Yes, okay. Okay, damn, all oh, these guys did it a lot stronger. Yeah, they went from having like 80 HP max if they weren't some kind of boss. So I guess we should just always- Basically everybody just has 100. We should probably just always do that just so we know what needs to be done. Unless there's just like one enemy. In which case we don't need to know what health they're at, but. Yeah, but it wasn't quite enough to one-shot him. Fortunately, I know somebody who can help with that. Finish it! Yeah. I was going to say, I don't know why we wouldn't just always use our stronger attacks that don't consume energy, but they do weaken you. They do. So... God, I wonder if we were going to get our co-op attacks. Now we have everybody. Not bad, Shippo. Yeah, you got me. <laughs> what was that fucking animation when she got hit? She just fucking, like, leaned <laughs> backwards. Yeah. Yes. I mean, what do you do when you get hit? <laughs> Fall to the ground in pain? Ah, uh, maybe. I don't know. That didn't sound legit, though. Yeah, I guess to shoot him. Yeah, yeah just shoot him, like, in the face. Snipe him right between the eyes. One shot, one kill! Damn it, Kagome. Damn it, Kagome. You're so consistent. <laughs> Consistently terrible. Oh! Fuck please don't put me in the kitchen her. again. Oh my! <laughs> yes, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. How long do you think before the first person points out that Sango is a fucking teenage girl? Is she not like eighteen? I thought she was. Uh, She's an adult, isn't she? Uh, isn't she? <laughs> Uh, bro, it's not enough to tell you this. But, uh... <laughs> Shit, does this episode not get to air? <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Remember what you made me do earlier? <laughs> yeah. You're still a fucking bastard. Yeah, it happens. God, they're stronger than us, which makes me think that we're supposed to be a higher level than we are currently. <laughs> yeah. It looks as though your fortunes have changed. Hooray! What? what does that mean? Changed. How changed? Much chaos is ahead. It might be good or bad. No one can say which it will be. <laughs> Shouldn't you be able to? We can read our fucking fortune? <laughs> that was kind of my thought. I was like, how do you have no idea what's going on? You just know that something will happen. I could have guessed that. So I am noticing that they appear to be recycling a bunch of these. Yeah. Over and over. I mean, they're pretty well made, so I guess you can't expect them to have, they like, are. hundreds of unique ones. Yeah, I'm not complaining. I just... 
I'm realizing that this road is literally the exact same road that we took to get to the other village. There's probably just with a few parts swapped out. There's probably at least um like when we go like when you go to that mountain area, there's probably gonna be like mountain paths. That's true. I would assume. They're yeah. just reusing all Obviously the forest tiles yet, for yeah. the fact that we're still running around in the woods. Right. Oh god, the fucking bat thing is back and it's worse. <laughs> Thank Jesus. Ow! That's like the most damage a single weird looking enemy has done to Inuyasha. Alright, well they all attacked us. So now it's our turn. Alright, Inuyasha hit everybody! Fucking one shot, one kill! One shot, four kills! I'll take one, like... Yeah, I'm satisfied. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> that's an acceptable amount of damage. Bam! Fucked him up. Alright, Shippo. Now for the finisher! We love fire! You just won. Man, remember all those times when Shippo was critically important to battles? <laughs> in the show. Like, Moroku and Songo have been gone this whole time, so like, alright, time to go back to the status quo. And then they just watch Shippo wipe the remaining enemies <laughs> with one attack. It's like, Jesus Christ, what did we miss? <laughs> it is pretty much all thanks to you. You are correct. Immediately, things are going better, I think, now that we have a full party. Oh, yeah. Like, I feel like it is sped up. Uh, I feel Ooh. like we're just having more fun already here we go well we got way better action economy now yeah because sure. like it so far the most enemies we've seen at a time is four yes um and it, that's most battles right so when it's four on four it's you it's know even but like inconveniently even right Whereas now we just have like a sheer advantage yeah like even though a lot of the time they're getting to go before us to start then we just fucking slaughter everyone afterwards. Right. Well, then there are times like this where, like, basically the entire party's gonna go before any of the other ones of them go. True. Which, you know, is right. Which I'm sure we'll be able to find items that, again, like, I'm sure, like, increase our initiative. Oh, I'm sure. I really wanna know when we get our fucking co-op time. I wanna see them. Like, I wanna see what all the co-op shit is. Same. I really hope it's not related to, like, our days off. Not because that wouldn't be cool. Oh, but, but like, just because I like, want them all. Yeah, I'm about to say, I'm not about to. We're not about to replay this game a million times. <laughs> Unless it's just like, yeah, you need to like do two fucking. You need to like three days with them, and then you get a co op thing. So like, you can hit everybody. Maybe. I did it. I did it. I'm the best. He's still alive. Muroku is like. Basically not gotten to go at all, so he still can't use his wind tunnel, but I want him to I want to see him use <laughs> I it. I know, I want to see what happens. I'm pretty sure I know exactly what it's gonna look like. And yeah. it's probably not gonna be very good. I mean it'll be effective, yeah, but fight. it's probably gonna look a whole lot like that uh like that fucking sleeping animation that the fucking ghosts do. <laughs> Just a different color. Yeah. Alright, and that kills him. Hell yeah. And then Shippo finishes the bat in a single blow. Almost. So close. But then Sango. You got it, babe. I still think when she throws her boomerang, that should be a two hitter. Oh, sick. Just because, it, you know, they bother showing it coming back. I know. Hell yeah. That's a dead as fuck guy. And there's gonna be some more dead as fuck guys next, next time. time on the shop gaming. That's the way it's done. Okay, Song goes in her twenties by the end of Inuyasha, so I'm calling it. <laughs>